Hello and welcome back to another episode of Total War Warhammer, where Ake Claw is ready to kill some man things. Let's get to it. Oh, I have to declare a war on them now, don't I? How do these guys? Who are they? They are. Oh God, they're. <laughs> Alliance with Karaza Karak. Oh, I'm gonna be poking the hornet's nest now, aren't I? Oh, I totally am. Uh, I have to do it eventually. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> Time to go poke the, uh, the hornet's nest. <sighs> oh, well. Uh, we'll get that done. I want to see what this guy's, uh, Gracier Plague. I don't know what these guys do. Casting map-wide speed and vigor reduction. Ooh! Screaming bell. It, that's a mount? Okay. That's kind of cool. Standard sneaky tricks to immortality. Voice the Horn Rat, Leadership Size, Envoy of the Council. Uh, just some standard combat, but he does not look like a combat lord, considering his armor. He is a support caster lord. Uh, standard blue line for all of rats. His yellow looks fun. Pestilent Breath Wither. Vermintide summons a unit to clan rats. So it's a menace from below for just magic? Oh, hell yeah. Summons units of storm vermin. Okay, I'm enjoying this guy. Okay, okay. I think for him, I'm going to go for a more traditional... Skaven Lord. So let's go with a proper Storm Vermin front line, followed by like warp fire throwers and shit like that. We won't do any cab, we won't do Doom Flares in this guy's army. We'll just do some normal stuff. Alternatively, I could just, like, replace him. Because, you know, I, I just hired him in a panic. So I could get a Warlock Master. Ambush success chance for local armies is nice. Cunning. That's, that's decent. Because I haven't seen what the Master Assassin or the Warlord have for their skill trees. So I think I might do that. Let's just hire a couple more Lords here. Uh, we already know what the Warlock Master has. It's this guy up here. So if we take a look at his skill tree, he's got these spells as well as a uh, the upgrading for Doom Flares and upkeep for Gisales and stuff like that. Construction cost. You know, that kind of stuff. So, he's good at buffing specifically weapons teams. Alright. This guy is only good at. He's not good at really buffing anything in particular. What does the Screaming Bell do for him? He gets these things down here, but I can't move over to, to see what they are fast enough. Tell me, anything about the Screaming Bell? No. <laughs> they don't give me any information. He doesn't really buff any particular units in general. I guess the Screaming Bell gives him abilities that maybe buff the allies around him? But I can't tell, because I can't pan over there fast enough. Let's try grabbing another lord. Say... A... Da, 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 da. 
either. There's a tough master assassin. That doesn't really help him much because he doesn't have much armor in the first place. So improving armor from shit to still kind of shit is not going to help him a lot. Like if a warlord got tough, that's really nice because he gets like way more armor. All right, let's just see. What does a warlord do? Because I don't know. 8% uh, success chance for heroes. Upkeep for Skaven slaves and armor for Skaven slaves. Oh, so he's like a a Skaven slave spam type lord. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, he's Skaven slave spam. Uh, let's try replacing this lord with a master assassin. I just want to see what this guy does. And a master assassin has ambush success. He has speed and damage. Concealment bomb bombs for night runners and gutter runners. Night runners and gutter runners. So yeah, he, so he boosts the other um, sort of assassin type, type type characters. Interesting. I think I might just for now keep this warlord and make a standard army with him. I might replace him in the in a in the future if I get another warlord as a weapon master one. If I get a tanky warlord, that would be kind of nice to have. Like a tough warlord, that would be good. Ah, it's too bad that isn't um Storm Vermin. I don't know. Do I even need another army right now? When I should just really get my other... Get the rest of my stuff built up. Because I, I still need to get this Skaven Blight level 5. I just need the money for it. Which I should go to construction cost reduction. And then just save for the next couple turns. Uh, maybe not change that just yet. Ah! Don't change it. Very good. Okay. You haven't been moved. So you uh, move a little bit and then encamp to get some of your recuperation back. And resource for income. And sure, more income. Oh, here recruited Skaven Blight Assassin. Uh, okay, a free assassin. I I don't know. I don't really care. Like, I don't use heroes that often because they cost so much money to, like, do anything. 575. <sighs> I'm just going to disband them. I don't care. I don't need to use them. Um, beyond that, I think we should go after Gelt stuff here. So let's underway to there. Oh, hello. You want to fight me? I'll take this place down next turn. And if he fights me, I'll be in the Underway, which... <laughs> you can't flank me in the Underway. It'd be like Dwarves 2.0 there. It'd be ridiculous. Uh, right, we're saving money. We're saving money to uh, get the upgrade at Skaven Blight. Ooh, that's a full stack. Ah, it's okay, we can do it. <laughs> Oh, another full stack. <sighs> God damn it. Let's just build some towers for a while. This does this place does have a good sea sack value, right? Yeah, three thousand something. Now save the money and on to the next turn. What will Scapelight do with these? Vampire counts wants non aggression. I can deal with you. 
Oh, oh, hey, they're coming out to me. Terrain is grassland. Uh, ooh. Ooh. They just have a bunch of peasant mob, though. Uh, I think I can do some good damage here. I think we'll take an extra couple minutes from below. So that we can, um, tie up their forces a bit. We do have a good amount of rattling guns. Plenty of slaves to throw in their way. And we do have a nuke. So if we do a good menace from below, catch their artillery and their cavalry, we should be able to nuke that and then everything will be happy. Because who doesn't like a good old nuke? Now... The reinforcements are coming in. I'm going to be fighting an army immediately. I believe posting up on this little hill here is actually a good idea. Skaven don't really have the leadership, at least in this kind of fight, to uh, go into a corner camp. So let's Plague Claw the hill. Like, uh, could cap could stack them up like that. Well, let's just look here. Uh, just stretch them out in front of this forest. Same thing with the rats. The ratlings. And then get these slaves covering those flanks. And hopefully get a whole bunch of people coming in right into our center right there. Fire, you play claws. He is on a doom wheel. So let's go on in. Oh, that's, I love that play claw. Boom. Oh, yes. Eat those pox are bastards. Dodge the shots. Dodge them. Dodge them. Cavalry on the sides are going to absolutely suck. And I should probably reposition one of the rattling guns to be aiming outwards. Oh, I dragged him into rattling gun range. Let him have it, boys. Oh, jeez. I'm getting some uh, frame drops there. Oh, oh. Their artillery is here. We'll see if these cav come back to help their artillery. Let me slow this down for a second here. Alright, my lord is getting absolutely shredded. However, that might be just enough. Uh, how are you guys doing? Good. You're interrupting the field trebuchet. This, this is a good stack. This is getting good here. Yeah, we're not going to get much better than this right now. We'll get rid of these high level cav as well. Oh, death embraces my lord. <laughs> uh, go slaves. Oh, they're formed up. Dodge it. Get in the position over here. Go, go, swing this way. Oh, 
hook around the back side. These guys are s slowing down at least with the guys coming in. Hopefully, my lord uh, accepts what I've done f done to him. <laughs> Do your job. Hold the line. Plague claws start shooting. Alright, come on, Skaven Slaves. Main line of Rattlings move up a little bit. And turn right and shoot these Knights of the Realm. Shoot the Grail Knights, please. Let's throw some guys back there just to tie them up a little bit. And we'll pull, throw, shoot the plate claws at their position. Good. Nice, the realm are getting shredded. Good. Peasant mob is getting shredded. Exactly as they needed to. <laughs> Take out that guy. These guys are... He's being swarmed. These guys can head off this way now. We can start to wrap our front line, and they break. Excellent. Try to shoot as much as possible before they run away. My lord did die for this, which kind of sucks, but it's acceptable. Everybody's expendable except Ticket. Oh, beautiful. Spearman at arms dying horribly. And this melee specialist melee specialist over here needs to die. Ah, he's gonna get away. Damn. If you only had held him longer, slaves, we could have gotten him. And they're all out of range. Painful victory, but it's a victory. We did lose our Warlock Master, but whatever. In the end, it won't matter. The Dominator is now <laughs> dead. However, holy losses on their side, Batman. Like, each one of my Rattling Gods got like 180-ish on average, maybe 170-ish. Plague Claw is getting like 250 on average. And the Skaven Slave's getting, like, three on average. <laughs> That's what they're there for. Dying horribly. Ah, beautiful. Uh, I guess it's gonna be the truest Skaven thing ever of nuking my own lord. Uh, let's... Let's replenish my troops a bit. And when it gets back to my turn, it'll ask me to replace it with a uh, new lord. Settlement besieged. Ooh, where's that? Right. Uh, sure, we'll get this warlock master in there. Hmm, oh well. Uh, where's this settlement besieged? Uh, oh, it's this. They will die, die. Can't I just, like, auto-resolve you now? Probably. Because you're so damaged. Yep. And... Uh, sack it. Kill all of your stuff and get this guy a little bit of experience. And we'll move a little bit. And then you can get some replenishment back. All right. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I want to see my new units. This isn't even a siege battle, too. It's just on the field. I want to see my new units. <laughs> I don't want to auto-resolve this. We have so many regiments of renown, too. And so much bullshit. This is going to be great. Now, what I think I can do is quite easily set it up. So, Doom Wheels will be one. Rattlings and Gisales will be two. And then what I need to do is I go Rattling, Gisale, Rattling, Gisale, Rattling, Gisale, Rattling, like that. And then when I stretch them out, it should be that way too, right? Rattling, Gisale, Rattling, Gisale, Rattling, Gisale, Rattling. Ha ha ha! Perfect! And then the same thing from artillery here. Spread them out that way. I want to drag them out. We've got catapult, cannon. Wait. Is this catapult, catapult, cannon? Oh god, it did work. Come on. Catapult, cannon. Catapult, cannon, catapult. That's what you're supposed to do. No! It's putting the two cannons to beside each other. Oh, fine. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Alright, we'll put all of the cannons and stuff on this ridge line, which will move, I guess, we can move this a little bit once the match starts. Uh, if not, we'll just stretch them out and let them go. These guys... We'll stretch out in front of them. We'll move them up and to the left a little bit when the match starts. And then we just have the uh, Doom Flyers ready to move in. Oh, that is a beautiful amount of bullshit. I can just form these guys up and just run them in if I wanted to. Like, these Doom Flares are going to be disgusting at the end of the turn. At the, not the turn, the, uh, the end of the game here. <laughs> See, they're all just tying up that entire army. And, uh, yep. Doom Flares, move out. Let's get you off the front lines now. Okay, those guys are broken. Giselle is back to shooting forward. These rattling guns can move up a little bit. You guys can start to flank around. Come on, don't lose too much health. Ick it can go in and tank now. I'll eventually probably replace these with Doom Wheels, I assume. It'll just be a bunch of Doom Wheels. Come on, Rattlings, get into position here. Oh my god, this is disturbing. This is so much firepower, man. This is great. Now, otherwise, I could get six infantry with this back line. But I'm not even sure if I need infantry. Because, I mean... Sure doesn't look like I need it right now. Now move. Doom players can just go straight into these backfield here. Their front line is just getting absolutely shredded to tiny little smithereens. I 
This is almost disgusting how strong this is. And they're just breaking. They're done. <laughs> how are you supposed to siege that position? Like, how? Like, I really need to get these Doom Flares fully leveled up and fully powered up using the um, uh, Forbidden Workshop, but dear god, when you do, this is going to be ridiculous. Like, this is going to be actively stupid how much damage I can pump out. I like this army. <laughs> I think this army is kind of cool. I, I guess the only downside I could is if I ever get overwhelmed with the amount of units coming towards me, if they get to my firing lines, I'm effectively screwed. So, making sure that they don't get to me is going to be very important. So, possibly taking these Doom Flares and taking them into Doom Wheels, which are more durable, would be a good idea. Alternatively, taking these Doom Flares and turning them into, like, Help at abominations would be ridiculous. But holy crap, we got 156 health. Not health, the food. Uh. Nice. Well, let's sack it. Because. We can. We'll. Oh, wow, did we heal up all the way? I. Okay. Wow, that's pretty good. I guess because we only have four per Doom Flare, it doesn't care about the unit's individual health. It looks at how many, like, numbers, like, actual individual units survived, and because none of them died, they're all fine. That's ridiculous if that's true. All right, is there anything in here for Doom Flares? Uh, <laughs> it's like, I'm uh, wanting to do this some more. Uh, weapons teams. Ah, uh, what does this need? This needs an arsenal. There. Uh, ooh, I don't have that because I am still building up here. <gasps> but I can get the top one. Thank you. Okay, good. We'll get that eventually. Until then, let's get virulent plans. So we get food capacity. So we got 156. We could take this place and instantly put it to high tier. Because we can occupy all the way at tier 4, even if we wanted to. And just be done and not have to grow it at all. And that would any, wouldn't even put us into low food. It would just take away some of our food buffs that we have. Why the hell not? Because then we can immediately go in and start building up defenses. And I guess we don't need this for food. Not sort of for, for growth. We can just get this for income. And... Hey, we could even start getting a weapons dump here. Because I could make this uh, another recruitment area if I wanted to, at least. Yeah, let's get a weapons dump. Engineer Excellent. You can get some upgrades, because I have a lot of money. And assign a skill point. I don't know. Eventually, I'll just get all of his points here. And and the turn. Oh, 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 geez, Gelt. Okay, not Gelt. Vol Volcar the Grim is attacking my other army. What do I have for terrain? Give me a choke point. God damn, give me a choke point. No. Um. I need a good nuke to win this. Uh, let's retreat. Good, good. Kill devices. Okay, he hasn't come after me. He wants a peace treaty, Gelt. Fuck you, Gelt. We're gonna kill you. 
I need to hit him at a good spot where I can nuke him. Or ambush him. We'll try to attack back on um, him again here in a second here, as soon as it gets back to my turn. Because it was just looked a little too annoying to uh, fight his army there. So let's try to... Oh my god, I can't go because I'm stuck inside the area of the base. So we have to do this, and then break siege to push myself out of it in order to actually have my movement back. Well, let's hope we can get a um, an ambush here. Ambush? No ambush. Different terrain or the same terrain? Same terrain. I am on the other side, though, so I do have this hill. I mean, it's even worse results because I have more enemies to deal with. But I have way better terrain now. I can take this hill. Theoretically, with liberal use of Menace of Below to get his units to bunch up, this is doable. This, warlock wants blood. Th this is possible. I will need the nuke here. I absolutely 100% have to get all of his Reichland here, his Reichsguard, into one ball and then nuke the hell out of them. If not, I need to get them into my um, rattling gun firing line. If I don't, um, I'm pretty screwed. Ah, good. That's good. So we'll take this hill 100%. And we'll have to use that hill. Because if we don't, we are screwed. Specifically... Uh, oh, that's the settlement reinforcements. Okay, good. So they'll be far away. So, Plague Claw. Oh, there. That's where he is. Interesting. So we can Plague Claw there. And then I'll have to Rattling in this area. I'll probably have to move these rattlings around a bit as soon as we start. Because I'll need them to cover this approach as well. But his units are going to be immediately in plate call range, so I don't want to have to move them. I want them to just start firing. So we'll have a rattling covering here, 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 and here. Position here, 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 here. And maybe another just covering the main approach. And then we'll have our slaves scattered as well as a good chunk of them right here. So let's get the healthy ones, these four, and we'll chunk them up here. The rest of these, the weak ones, will spread all around in here as needed. So first off, we'll get this rattling to there, this rattling to there, this one to there, this one is covering this angle, and this one is covering that angle. The Lord, let's run him up into this little ditch here. Oh yeah, that ditch is going to be annoying. I think my Rattlings can shoot over it. because, But if they can't, that'd be very bad. Because if a unit was coming up here, he could get cover before he gets into Rattling range, and they could crest the ridge into a bunch of Rattlings, but by that time, he's already being too close. So this rattling should be able to cover that if I move him appropriately. Or I might just need to move down to this ridge here. I just can't hold the absolute top. Like that. And I have to then have good rattling approaches. Uh, but I don't want to get too far. This is uh, troublesome. This is very troublesome. Very, very troublesome. We'll go here. We'll figure this out. We'll send one rattling forward, maybe, to cover that. But then, if the others 
if he gets swarmed, the others can shoot at them. Sacrificial. I might actually just lose his entire army and that'd be okay. We'll survive without this army. We'll just have to um, rebuild him. Select this group and we'll stick him in right here for now. And we'll adjust them as needed. And Blight Claws can start shooting. Come on, give me that nuke immediately. I want to spawn this, get all these guys in, and just nuke them. I want to kill them before these guys get here. Handgunners are 145, we are 145. So, theoretically, we're even. That's good. Come on, Reichsguard, come on in. Come on in, you bastards. Oh, those are, um, grenade launchers. Oh my god, those are Reich's guard going around the side. Okay. Pistoliers, or Outriders, are getting taken care of. We have triple Reich's guard going left, triple Reich's guard going right. The Reich's guard going left should get intercepted by this guy and this guy. And these infantry. This guy can move to here to take care of the main forces, as well as we'll throw a um, menace from below there to slow them down. These piss, these um, outriders here are getting destroyed. These Rex guard will eat these guys here for the duration. Until then, I can wheel these guys around and shoot at them. Good, those guys are gone. Okay, these Reichsguard are coming back. Ratlings need to move up slightly. Get ready for the Reichsguard. Start doing them. Just move, 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 or quickly. Good. These rats got in the way of the Reichsguard charge, except for that one. That's okay, that's okay. We're coping, we're coping. These Rattlings can repeal back, these Rattlings can shoot forward. Get in there, get in there. I could just nuke these guys and just not have to deal with them. Fall back, fall back, fall back. Let the let the slaves take care of it. Pull back, Rattlings. Use Rattlings, rotate and shoot. Slaves, get over here to tank. Rattlings, get back, get back, get back. You just don't have enough front here. Yeah, those guys are those guys are gone. Off the field. One slaves get in here. That's it. Kill these Reich's guard. Woof. God damn it. So many cav. Yeah, these, they, we're, this is over. Uh, best I can do is just try to do as much damage to these guys as possible. Swarm in, swarm in. Come on, do it. Come on, rattlings. Mm, got some blob. Good enough. That was bad placement. Whatever. Warlock, 
These ratlings are shooting, which is good. These slaves can start to get in there. And killed some of them. But yeah, we're not going to survive this. Oh, come on. Take those rugs guard out. Come on. I do have a decent group of rattling guns here. But I need to kill these rugs guard. Get them off my artillery. Because my artillery is just getting eaten. My lord is about to die too. Good. Those Reich's guard are pretty much done. But, okay, here comes the uh, army losses for me. Everyone is just gonna... Yep, that's it. This army's done. Rip me. Well, did take out a majority of his Reich's guard. But you can see that they were definitely his uh, powerhouses. Damn. I probably shouldn't have tried to push that battle, but, oh well. I can macro up a new army, a better army, with more Rattlings and some Gisales this time, and some, we'll do like a proper uh, force here. Or this guy. Oh, he's still alive. He is still alive. Let's force march away as far as we can. We'll see if we can get this guy back. Uh, we did gain some money. We can get Brion to level 3. So this, then this place is all done. I don't need growth, but I'll keep it on the uh, construction cost reduction. Uh, sure. Warlock Master. We are going to need a new lord and somebody good. Disciplined leadership. That's kind of nice. Oh, hey. This guy. Warlock Master Sneaky. Oh, I just need some money. Oh, let's do that right this turn. I won't do this. Warlock Master Sneaky. I like that. Okay, you're going to be my new uh, super dude. I'm going to re-recruit you as my uh, new dominator guy. And uh, you... Ikit can go after... Bulfadar here. Gelt! Oh, I get to kill Gelt. Excellent. Uh, let's see. This place can be upgraded, although I can't get the one that I want to do, so we'll ignore that. And we'll go into the Forbidden Workshop and build a rocket. Because we're out, and it's time to build more rockets. Oh, he's got to build more rockets. Okay. I think it's time. We have a fair setup here. Let's buff these Doom Flares to absolute stupidity. Uh, st stalker? Really? That is ridiculous. Minus four cost for Scorch on all characters? Nice. But we'll randomly cast Warp Lightning. We'll get the Spiked Armor Plates. We got eight more, and these all take three, so we'll get two more. We get the bonus versus infantry and charge bonus. And we'll get the... Uh, uh, melee attack. 
Ooh. And they even got these special things here. Wait, did these apply to all of them? Alloy shield, rare. Or is this a, a piece of equipment? Oh, it's a piece of equipment I get. Oh, can I put this on Ikit? What does he have? Oh, he's already got some decent stuff on him anyway. But that's cool. I can go on my Warlock Engineer. Yeah, yeah, give me his details. Hell yeah. Boost his armor to 95. That's nice. Or, I guess their income from post-battle loot would be really good. Wardsack 20. What what uh, does Ikit have for his talisman? Physical tw 15. Ward save is better. Because that's versus everything. Earthing rod. Ooh. Earthing rod just is miscast chance. Oh, so he can't kill himself with miscast. Uh, then you can get Fizz Resist 15 and a enchanted item of, I guess, the terrifying mask of E! <laughs> That's awesome. Alright. Now these Doom Flares have a, uh, uh, a, f a few points. Excellent. But that is going to be it for this episode. Um, next episode, we're going to see if we can rescue this guy, because he still has a couple high-level Rattling Guns I'd like to save. And we'll get him down here to get, hand off his units to this guy, and then we'll probably cut him from the army, because he didn't do anything good. Macro up a really good new army, as we uh, smash belt, uh, get, Gelt. Let's face it. That's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and good hunting out there, fellow Skaven.